Serato just added the long requested play count feature to Serato DJ Pro version 2.2. This new feature allows you to keep track of how many times you've played tracks in your Serato DJ Pro library. While this is a nice bit of data by itself, when combined with smart crates, it becomes even more useful. Now smart crates are like smart playlists. They allow you to make lists of music based on conditions known as rules. And these rules can be tags such as album, artist, genre, date added, etc. And thanks to this update, now play count has been added as a rule. Now combining smart playlists with the play count data, you can make more informed decisions about your DJ library. And in this video, we'll give you three smart crates that use the play count rule that we think you should add to your Serato DJ Pro. Now, if you're interested in more tips and tricks videos about getting the most out of your DJ library, make sure you subscribe to this channel. So now let's get into making smart crates using the play count rule. This first play count smart crate is for all the DJs out there that end up adding large batches of music to their library at a time. Now myself as an open format DJ, I'm consistently adding new music to my library, which can make it difficult to remember which new songs that I've added that I'm actually playing and which ones that I haven't gone around to play yet, which can end up bloating my library if I'm not too careful. And this smart crate can help out with that. What this will do is it'll go ahead and look at all the newest music that I've added to my library and then let me know which songs that I haven't played yet. That way I can remember which songs that I need to play and I can throw them in other playlists to make sure that I get to playing all the new hits that I've wanted to play. So let's get started. We'll go ahead and create a new smart crate by clicking on this blue box with the S in it. Then the rules box will pop up and then we'll go ahead and add a new rule. Now the first rule we're gonna add is based on the date that we've added music to our library. So we'll, let's go through that. So we'll go through added, which is date added. Then we'll change this to after. And then in this third column, we can pick a date range. So for this playlist, I wanna go back three months. So I'll go back three months. Then we'll add another rule. Now this rule is gonna be based on the play count feature. So let's go ahead and add rule. Then we'll go down to plays, which is the play count feature. Then we'll go to less than or equal to, and we'll set this to zero. Then we'll hit save. Then you'll see that it's working, creating that smart crate for us. And then we can go ahead and rename it. So let's new unplayed. So all the music in this crate is music that I've added in the last three months that I haven't gone around to playing yet. So let's show this smart crate in action. So if I go ahead and play this track, So notice the play count went to one and it was automatically removed from that smart crate due to the rules that we set. Now this is really handy if you're like me and you're consistently adding new music and you wanna make sure that you're not missing out on any new music that you've added to your library. Now the second play count smart crate can help you out if you have a large or growing library that has some older songs that you're really not playing anymore and can help you identify those. So let's go ahead and create that smart crate. So again, we'll click on the blue box with the S on it to create a new smart crate. We'll add a rule. This time, we're gonna do date added, but instead of after, we're gonna hit before, and let's go back maybe two years. Now we're gonna add another rule. Again, we're gonna add it by plays, and then less than or equal to, again, zero. It'll create that smart crate. Notice it's working through our library. So we'll go ahead and do old unplayed. Again, this smart crate will let us know which songs that are over two years old that I really haven't been playing in my library. Now you can set this instead of zero, maybe to one or two, because maybe you have played a song once or twice, but it really hasn't worked. So you wanna kind of tweak the number of plays and the date range to really figure out what works for you. But this is really nice because this will really help you trim down your library and get rid of those songs that you really haven't been playing at this point for years and get them out of your library and make a better, more focused DJ library. Now my favorite example of using the new play count feature with smart crates is to keep track of my favorite songs of certain categories. That could be genre, era of music, artists, etc. Now this is really handy, especially if you play theme nights. So maybe you're playing an all 80s night, you'll wanna know which 80 songs do you play the most, that way you'll have them all ready to go. Or maybe you play a genre theme night, maybe you're playing an all R&B night, so you wanna know all your R&B songs that you play a lot that usually work on the dance floor. Having them all ready to go in one playlist is so useful. So let's get started. We'll go ahead and create a new smart crate. Then we'll add a new rule. And this time we're gonna go ahead and start with the play count. So plays, we'll do greater than or equal to, 
And then we'll, for this example, let's do the number three. Now, I just put three for this example, but you'll wanna play around with that number to figure out what works for you and you know how often you play and how often you play these kind of categories depending on it. So play around with it, mess around with these settings to figure out what works best for you. So then we'll add a second rule. And for this example, I'll do it by genre. So let's go by hip hop, because I do play a lot of hip hop. And then hit save. Now it's creating the smart crate. We'll go ahead and put fave hip hop. Now all the songs in this smart crate are all hip hop songs throughout my entire library that I've played more than three times. Now, again, you'll wanna to check to make sure that that number that you've added for your play count kind of matches the amount you play for those specific categories to figure out what works best for you. But this is so powerful. It can really dial down and help you figure out what songs are your favorites of certain categories in your collection. One of the biggest challenges for digital DJs over time is maintaining an ever-growing library of music. Digital libraries tend to be larger than physical ones, and unless you know and use the music, they can become unwieldy and a burden rather than a blessing. Knowing what you've played is fundamental, and now Serato users can use this information to help manage their libraries. And I hope this video has given you some ideas. Now, of course, Serato isn't the only software with this feature, although PlayCount does work differently in other software. So if you'd like me to go over this feature in your favorite software, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And if you have a favorite way on how to use this feature, I'd like to see that in the comments as well. Now, get good, get out there, and make the moments.